Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is assume a population of garden peas in genetic equilibrium in which the frequencies of genes for full pods or capital F and constricted pods or small f are 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 respectively if this population is allowed only to reproduce by self-fertilization for three generations what will be the distribution of the three genotypes by the third generation of self-fertilization. So how we are going to solve this problem? First of all, we are told that this um, population in uh, equilibrium, meaning in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. So let's start with Hardy-Weinberg formula, uh, which states that um, frequency of the three genotypes that is produced by two alleles would equal to so F which stands for the frequency of the genotypes so when we have two alleles in a gene pool for example this can be alleles P and Q and squared means that um, this is deployed organism so would give us P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared. And all these three genotypes, if we combine them, would equal to 1 or 100%. So 1 here is equal to 100%. So uh, this is uh, Hardy-Weinberg formula. And uh, for example, in our case, uh, F capital would be dominant allele, so we can put here on top, and F uh, small would be recessive allele. And here is three genotypes. So homozygous dominant, heterozygous genotype, and homozygous recessive. So now I think it would be much more clear for you how this calculations works and uh, what else we need to know. Self-fertilization, which is the most severe form of inbreeding, will reduce the frequency of the heterozygous by one half each generation, with um, reduction being equally distributed between the two homozygotes. So now let's um, use some numbers. So we know the frequency of the dominant allele F is 0 0.6. So 0 0.6. Frequency of the recessive allele is 0 0.4. Hence, uh, frequency of the uh, homozygous dominant genotype would be 0 0.6 multiplied by itself. And this is going to be 0. 36 and frequency of the heterozygous genotype is going to be 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.4 and multiplied by 2 and going to be uh, 0 0.48 and frequency of the recessive genotype homozygous recessive would be 0 0.4 multiplied by itself so going to be 0 0.16 and if we add all these three numbers as you see we are going to get 1 and as I told um, self-fertilization which is the most severe form of inbreeding will reduce the frequency of the heterozygotes by one half each generation so in next generation uh, generation 1 after uh, self-fertilization what we are going to see we are going to see that uh, this heterozygote would lose 50 percent and uh, it's going to be to be redistributed to uh, both homozygotes in equal parts for example half of the uh, 0 0.48 would be 0 0.24 and that means that 0 0.12 would go here 
and another 0 0.12 would go here. So new frequencies are going to be in the next generation um, going to be as follows. So 0 0.48 0 0.24 and uh, 0 0.28 in the next generation generation 2 again we are going to see redistribution and half of the heterozygosity is going to be lost 50% of 0 0.24 is going to be 0 0.12 and that means that 0 0.06 would go here and another 0 0.06 would go here and in the second generation frequencies are going to be as follows homozygous dominant genotype frequency is going to be 0 0.54 heterozygous genotype frequency is going to be 0 0.12 and homozygous recessive genotype frequency is going to be 0 0.34 and in the next generation again after self-fertilization again we are going to get 50% uh, loss of the heterozygosity which means that uh, this is going to be 0 0.06 or 6% which would be redistributed as follows so 0 0.03 would go here and another 0 0.03 would go here and new frequencies is going to be in the third generation 0 0.57 0 0.58 and zero. 37. If we add all the three frequencies, we are going to get 1. Again, if we add here the three frequencies of the three genotypes, we are also going to get 1. And this is true in the first generation. So we have uh, three genotypes. When we combine them, we should get always 1. But frequencies going to change in each generation we are going to lose heterozygosity take a look we start with 48 percent or 0 0.48 in the population and in the uh, after first round of the self fertilization we lost 50 percent of the heterozygosity and this is true uh, for all loci so basically that means that not only one locus is going to lose heterozygosity, but uh, the whole uh, genome of the plant is going to lose heterozygosity and uh, homozygosity would increase. This is what we call uh, inbreeding. Some of the plants tolerate inbreeding well and some not. We call them outcrossers. And as for the animals, uh, Animals mostly do not tolerate inbreeding uh, well and when we start inbreed uh, animals, uh, as you know, many dogs uh, would show certain uh, degree of genetic disorders. Uh, so we have also to outcross them to avoid uh, such uh, problems. But some animals can be uh, inbred uh, up to almost 100%, uh, for example, laboratory mice. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.